him all you have left. If Mallory was still alive, this would blow his mind. Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 793rd Platinum Trophy. You guys already saw it unlock. Today's game was the PS4 version of Resistance Retribution. Now, this was once a game on the PSP, but it became available on PlayStation 4 and 5 through its streaming catalog. And I was not a particularly big fan of this game. The Platinum Trophy is very straightforward and simple, but I just really did not find this game to be very enjoyable. It's It doesn't play the best out of all these older games that I've played. It definitely does not play the best. It definitely has some issues sometimes with anything from hit detection to just your bullets flying all over the place. Not a particularly fun experience and probably not one that I would recommend playing. And if you do decide to play it, absolutely play it on the easiest difficulty so it's less stressful. The one thing that really makes this game much more doable though is the fact that you can use the timeline feature or the reset feature, whatever you want to call it. The Be able to basically save state yourself wherever you want and go back as much as you need. That definitely makes it a lot easier. Now, most of the trophies in this game are actually story-related. In fact, almost all of the trophies are story-related. You're going to get 23 of your trophies simply for completing all the levels of the game. But the game just gets really, really repetitive and boring as it goes on. So that was my main issue with this one is that it just... It got very boring, very repetitive. Some of the missions drag on absolutely forever. Some of them are a little bit shorter, but some of them just absolutely drag on for what seems like forever. Like, even some of these early missions feel like they drag on like crazy. But 23 of the trophies are earned for completing the game's 23 story missions, including the final battle down here. Now, this trophy, at the time this is being recorded, it might not be an issue moving forward at some future time when this video goes up. But this trophy has been bugging out for a lot of people at the time this is being recorded, which is March 12th of 2024. So yeah, this particular trophy has caused a lot of people problems. It's not unlocking for them. So I would highly, highly recommend that if the trophy for some reason has not been fixed by the time this video is going up, probably several months later, that you definitely back up your save in at least one other place and just make sure that you have that save backed up so that you can retry this mission if the trophy doesn't pop. The trophy should pop the second that you kill the final boss, so just keep that in mind. Now, the game only has four miscellaneous trophies, and they're mostly pretty easy. Using the Augur WS, this is a weapon that you're going to get a few missions into the game. It's basically a Chimera weapon, and it can shoot through surfaces. It can show the enemy through surfaces, making it an extremely useful weapon. All you have to do is fire it 100 times for this trophy, which will probably come naturally by the time you beat the game. 
Then you have to die a single time, which is about as self-explanatory as it gets. This is probably going to happen naturally unless you're immediately, you know, save stating before you die, which is probably still not going to happen. You're probably still going to die at least once no matter what. Skip over this one for the moment. 50 enemies. This is unmissable. You're going to get this during the first or second mission of the game. No chance you miss this one. For 10 different weapons, there are only, I think, like 11 different weapons total in the game. So... Technically, this one is missable because a couple of the weapons get replaced by upgraded versions later. So the weapons in the game are the starting assault rifle, the bullet firing weapon that's just, you know, a standard old human weapon. Then the SMG. Then you get an upgraded SMG very near the end of the game. Let's see. Then there's the chain gun, shotgun. So that's five. There's the auger. That's six. There's the upgraded auger. That's seven. There's frag grenades. That's eight. There is the sniper rifle, that's 9, and the rocket launcher, that's 10. And I believe the knife might count, but some people are saying it doesn't count. So basically just make sure you use every single weapon. You don't even have to get a kill with each of them. You just have to use each one of them, so fire each one of them once, and you're good to go. So just make sure that you fire every weapon that you get, throw a grenade, and you get like one knife kill guaranteed in a cutscene or something. So pretty simple. So yeah, just do all of that. You're going to get all the trophies pretty much along the way. You don't have to find all the intel or anything like that. You don't have to play on any particular difficulty. I'd highly recommend playing on easy. There is a fear that this game might get DLC trophies. That's something that is a possibility this time. I don't think it's overly likely. And I guess we would know by the time this video goes up. But hoping this game does not have DLC trophies because I really don't want to have to play through it again. I mean, I might still play through it on the PS5 version at some point, but I would play through it on the easy difficulty and probably do it a lot faster. This Platinum, I would say, takes about 9 to 10 hours to do, at least if you're playing on normal, playing through for your first time. I'm assuming on easy I could probably cut down at least an hour of that. So, with that, level 859, 58%, 27,804 total trophies, 793 Platinums, 5,238 gold, 7,447 silvers, 14,326 bronzes. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this game or just the Resistance Platinums in general, because at this point in time, actually most of the games are still obtainable at the time this is being recorded. The only one that isn't is Resistance 2. So yeah, just let me know all that in the comments and I'll see y'all back here real soon for another trophy video.